Last time on the sweet spot. Uh, Super Chad here. Happy birthday, old man. Glitch. Of course, there's a glitch. Hi, guys. What's going on, everybody? It's Josh. Today, we're actually going on a toy hunt. Power of the Force. What is up, Internet? Kyle here, Slapshot Toys. Mike's Vintage Toys in Dayton, Ohio. And what an awesome store it is. I highly recommend if you are in the Dayton area, definitely check them out. This Slapshot Leo is the first tuning material purchase I have ever made, and boy, am I excited to have it in my collection. We are at the North Dallas Toy Show. Who is this guy? Man. If Mike didn't chew on that, I would have totally picked that up. Sweet spa. All right, guys, it's my birthday. But by the time you watch this, it'll be a week after my birthday. Today's May the 3rd. You're going to watch this on Monday, May the 10th. But uh, I got some breakfast donuts. So what better way to start this freaking video off than by eating some damn donuts? Uh, these were purchased from one of my favorite donut shops in Wiley, Texas, known as Glazed. Glazed. And uh, I went in there to get some cronuts, which are the freaking best thing in the world. There they are right there. Cronut holes. Oh my God. So they have all kinds of like gourmet donuts and stuff. This one caught my eye because I love the dessert. I love creme brulee dessert. One of my favorite desserts. And these mother frickers had a creme brulee donut. Look at that. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Look at that. So we're going to try it out. Mmm. <laughs> There's creme inside. I'll finish that later. This is what I went there for. Cronuts, holes, half croissant, half donut. 100% mother frickin' awesome. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> so good. Oh, We're at Target, it's Mother's Day. I just got my mom off. She's getting her groceries and I'm gonna see what they get. All right, first stop. I took a quick look at the cards. There's no hockey cards. It might be in the back though, but first stop. NECA, NECA. I don't have this guy. I do not have him. I do have him. Do they have Ghostface? That's the real question. Ghostface. No, ghost face, no. Ghost face, no. Lots of back of the future. Holy cow. Ghost face? Is that ghost face? No. Oh well. Uh, let's see. No ghost face. Nope. Uh, what do we got up here? More back to the future. And yeah, alien. Mm -hmm. Hey, Buffy. Look at Buff. Look at Buff, the Buff star. That does not look like her. In what world does that look like that? I'll answer for you. No world. Terrible. Terrible. Hey, Sonic. Sweet. That's awesome. Too bad someone tried to eat it. Uh, let's see. Hey. More Buffster. Who's this? Is that uh, Robert Pattinson? Nope. It's supposed to be this guy. Looks more like Twilight Robert Pattinson. Am I right? Whoop. Sorry about that. Yes. Do I have Scuba? Scuba Steve? I do. I think. I think I have that one. Oh, you already have that. No. 
All right, time to look at the other toy section. Should've worn pants. Those are cool shoes though. Yeah. Swaggy. I could have told you that it was not gonna be 80 degrees in A, Target, B, Walmart. There she goes, and I lost her. So much for having a conversation with my daughter. So much for that. Anyway, on to the toy section. Okay, that's pretty cool. There's Riho, Bobby the Brains, usual suspects there. There's Tay Tay, she caught up. She's not lost forever. There's Katie, I was calling, trying to call her Annie in a previous video. Uh, what else do we got? Anything down there? Nope. Grimlocks, Pumpkinhead, Megs, Starscream, and Peter B, Peter Venkman, the Peters, and Dana, and Toddy Mac Bats, and I don't even know what to call this guy, White Knight Brown Batman, and Sam Jackson. Hold on to your butts. And we got this dude. And we got Gold Bloom. I'm kind of tempted to buy the Gold Bloom. And Sky Slides, Battle Cats, He Mans, and Skeletors. And there you go. Okay, we got uh, Boba Fett helmet, Stormtrooper helmet, TIE Fighter helmet. Here's the Legos. Kind of wanting this one. Shuttle Tidarium. Uh, X-Wings. Head hats. Falcons. Resistance. Potters. <laughs> we have this set at home. I love this dude right here. Big giant dude. He was cool. Oh, Mario time. He's a Mario. He's a Mario. A slushy. Uh -huh. and it has Pringles. It has waffles. And, and I want one. I want the blue slushy and the Pringles and the waffles. Okay, calm down. This, can you get it? No, you have money. No, have I only. Money. No, I, this is like $20. I, they don't have $14 left. Okay. Do we have any hockey cards? The answer is no. Because scalpers suck. They're the worst. The worst. What's up, guys? So it's uh, Mother's Day, Sunday. I just started filming, we were at Target. This is basically being done as a backup plan, just in case I don't have time to do my NECA collection. I was live this morning, and I had talked about doing a NECA collection tour as my next video that's gonna premiere tomorrow on Monday. But uh, just knowing that it's Mother's Day and knowing that we have stuff that we're doing, I don't know if I'll have time to film and edit that. So this is gonna be done as a backup video plan. So we're all done at Target. The person that just parked next to me is checking out what we're doing in here because she's nosy. She's no, you're nosy. But I got some, <laughs> I got some flowers. That's actually two bouquets of flowers there. One for Mama Cincy, one for Mrs. Cincy. Uh, so we got those and got a little gift card action. And here's what you want to see potentially. Bam, Vader. Big Van Vader. Are you filming right now? No. Why'd you just call me weird? Are you called this guy weird? Yeah. He is kind of weird. I gotta say. Look at that Why face. Does his face look like that? Anyway, there's Vader. He's awesome. Look at him. He comes with the mask, that mask, that thing, this head, those two hands. Vader! 
he was a he was a big deal in the WWF right before I started kind of watching again. I was uh, I started watching again in the uh, the early uh, late late nineties actually late nineties uh, when Goldberg was making his run. It was actually WCW that brought me back to wrestling. So there you go, guys. We're gonna go to Walmart right now. I'll show you what they got. Hopefully, they got something good. That's a nice jag, my dude right there has. Let's go to. I'm Wally World! I'm feeling this bag is 75% air. The Doritos? Yeah. Let's check. I realized that I forgot to hit stop on the recording, so you're actually just seeing her. Nope, it's actually 75% shit. So. Wow. You're gonna eat a whole big bag of Doritos right before we get Japanese hibachi for lunch. So there goes that appetite. Mm. This kid here. Just kicked the back of my shoe while I was walking. She has no idea that I was the king, the king of kicking kids' shoes in high school. That's why no one liked me. <laughs> All right. Actually, figure aisle. Oh, when will? That's pretty cool. So Mandarin. They have Shang Chi. AI starts. All right, so back to the hunt here. I saw Rashad. I ran into Rashad, fellow local hunter. We talked about figures, what we're finding, what we're after a little bit. But uh, there's Dino right there. Uh, not really anything else new. These are kind of cool. Uh, that is about it. I kind of do still need a Tila and a Evelyn. There's Tila. Uh, let's see. Oh, a Death Trooper. Hmm. I'm gonna pick that up. I could use a Death Trooper. All right. So there's Edge, Bay Young, Baron Corbin. Uh, I'm still kind of tempted to get into these. Mandarin. But let's go check out the electronics area and see what kind of NECA stuff they got. <laughs> All right, Tay just handed me something to hold on to. This is what kids are buying, collecting in the toy aisle nowadays. At least 11-year-old girls. Slime mystery box. I used to buy slime when I was a kid, too. Usually accompanied an action figure like the Slime Pit, Masters of the Universe, or something like that. But there you go. Scented slime. Oh, kind of sparse. Kind of freaking sparse, but we have... Whoa, that's heavy. I think the uh, security device is heavier than the figure itself. Can't even see which figure that is. Ultimate Guardian Predator. It looks kind of cool. Oh, wow. Look at that. You got that. I don't want to carry it. <laughs> Here's the Lord of the Rings Gandalf. Someone mentioned this on the live stream earlier this morning. The Gandalf. It actually looks really good. It looks really freaking good. Uh, and they are... Looks like 16 bucks. Damn, that looks really, really good. I'm kind of tempted to get this. Oh, big trouble, little China. And this is lightning. That one does not look as good. Paint looks a little sparse on the face sculpt on this one. Oh, that looks like that to be it, my friends. 
Oh, what's this? We got Splinter and Shredder, Splinter and Shredder. And just for poops and ha ha's. Here's the one up themes. They got NBA Jam. They do have a Marvel machine there. Two Miss Pac Mans. Two Pac Mans. If these ever went on clearance, I would definitely buy a Miss Pac Man or a Pac Man. So, there you go. This was kind of a lackluster video. So, I think that I might show you something when we get back to the house. Uh, something that I can quickly film. I'm not sure what that's going to be. Potentially an unboxing. Potentially maybe Mortal Kombat figures. I might show you those since if you missed the live then you didn't see uh, some of the Mortal Kombat Storm figures that I picked up. So I might show those. Something quick. But uh, that's it for now. So thanks for being here. Sorry I didn't find a whole lot on my hunt. It is Sunday morning so of course most of the stores are cleaned out unless they're restocking. Uh, which sometimes you do stumble upon restocks on a Sunday morning, but not for me. But I'll see you guys soon, and uh, have fun collecting. Hey, what's up guys? And to round out this video, because the toy hunt was kind of lackluster, I'm going to show you something that you might have seen on some of my live streams recently, but if you missed those, here you go. This is my current Mortal Kombat Storm Collectibles collection. It's only three figures. I do have Raiden on the way. He is secured. I actually secured him on the live the other day. But uh, here's what I got so far. I really like them. And uh, let me show you what I got. All right, I got him here on the nerd bar. We're gonna start over here with, and sorry about the lighting. The lighting kind of sucks, I gotta say. Here is Scorpion. And I have his little skull mask on, looking badass. He has his ax, his get over here little throwing spear. Uh, I know this looks weird. It does not look like he's throwing it, but uh, the the actual accessory itself, I think I have to take some heat to it and kind of mold it in the, um, in the shape that I want it to be so that I can actually make it look like he is throwing it and not just kind of like, because that looks awkward. But anyway, there is Scorpion. He looks amazing. I love this figure. I'm glad I got him. He is as of this recording, still available at Big Bad Toy Stores. So if you want that figure, I would highly recommend you pick them up soon because these figures are selling out. Kung Lao was on pre-order and he is sold the frick out. So don't wait too long. Don't hesitate. But there you go, there's Scorpion. And we're gonna skip Sub-Zero. We're gonna leave him for last. Here is Baraka. This is the newest figure in my Mortal Kombat Storm Collectibles collection. Here's his blades. He's looking badass, look at that. Here's the face sculpt. And a little spikes in his arms. And there's his blade, got like some green schmutz on it. This is the bloody version. Uh, this is the Big Bad Toy Store. I think this was a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive where it has this green blood all over him. Here's his cool little Jordans or whatever the frick those are. <laughs> his little sneakers with blood on them. There we go. So there's Baraka. And then last but not least, look at this. So Sub-Zero comes with all of this stuff. All of these bones, body parts, the blood puddle, the uh, frozen person accessory that you can actually have together where it looks like it's just a frozen person there or you could break it apart and put the, the blood effects in there. I think that looks pretty cool. But here is Sub-Zero. This is the maskless Sub-Zero. I hesitated and did not get the masked version in time, and now he is pricey, so I'm not gonna get him. So I'll just hopefully wait for Storm Collectibles to produce another Sub-Zero with a mask, but I really like this version. Look at the ice effects. That's pretty awesome. That is badass. 
But there you go, guys. There's the third one. Here is the group shot, Scorpion Sub-Zero, Baraka. And then here are some additional accessories they come with. Here is Scorpion's accessories, some blood effects, hands, another mask. Here's Sub-Zero's additional stuff, another head, hands. And then here's old Baraka stuff, a bunch of blood effects where he's uh, chopping people's arms off and stabbing people with his little stabby swords. And I still don't know how to, how to do this thing. So I'll have to look up on that. I think that's one of his uh, fatalities, if I remember correctly, I might be wrong. Additional hands, additional head, and then short blades. But you get a lot of stuff with these things. Storm Collectibles, if you like Mortal Kombat, I definitely, definitely recommend these. Very well made, well articulated, lots of accessories. Just look awesome, awesome paint, awesome sculpt. So I recommend these guys. All right, that's the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry I didn't find more on my hunt. I was looking for more, I just didn't find more. I'm excited to get more Storm Collectibles, Mortal Kombat figures, but uh, that is it for now. Check out my other friends in the Sweet Spot Network's videos. Not another retro channel, Josh Penn's Slapshot Toys. Check those guys' videos out. I'm back here in the office. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful collection. I apologize for not getting to my NECA collection, but uh, it was Mother's Day yesterday. I took my mom and uh, my wife out to uh, Hibachi, Hibachi Grill. That was delicious, Japanese steakhouse. And then I helped Mrs. Cincy for about four hours in the yard, do some uh, yard projects. So didn't get to the NECA hall, or not hall, collection, but uh, I'm gonna make a point to record a NECA collection tour for the next Monday's video. So check out next Monday's video for my NECA collection. I'm gonna get everything that's not in this case right here on the uh, Nerd Bar and you'll see it all in its beautiful glory. But that's it for now. I'll see you guys soon. Have fun collecting. Check me out on live streams whenever. I don't have a schedule, just whenever. But adios for now.